What's up, MTV? This is Ted Buggy, and welcome to my library crib. Come on in. In case you're too young to get that reference, this is going to be my library tour. Now, I'm not going to pull out every single book and show them all off. I know some people like that, but honestly, I don't enjoy watching them. I know I'm not going to enjoy filming them, and I am positive I'm not going to enjoy editing them. So, if that's what you're hoping for, I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you around my library, what I have, how I decorate it. Also, side note, the lighting is going to be a little bit all over the place in this video because I want to show you like every angle of the room and not all angles have a great light source. Anyways, we're going to do our best, but if the lighting is wonky, that's why. But enough yammering, let's get to showing off my library crib. You're probably pretty used to this angle with these books behind me because this is where I sit to film. I have a handy little footstool here that I like to sit in. I place the camera there, usually a little closer than it is now, but I felt like standing so my camera angle is different. But this is my favorite background for filming. All of these books behind me are most of my novels. They are all organized alphabetically by author's last name. I need to know exactly where things belong and I like having them alphabetical. It makes it easy for me to find things and it makes all the series stick together. So. Yeah, that's, that's how these are organized. So we go alphabetical, starting here, making our way down. Then we move up here, move down. And then there is a shelf at the end there that also has regular novels. The only exception is these bottom shelves here because they are so much taller than the rest of my books that I didn't want to waste the space, I guess, with my shorter books. This shelf here is currently empty. Sometimes if I'm doing like a readathon or I have a specific TBR, I will stack them right there just so they have easy access. Here I have a collection of history books. I inherited them from my grandfather. I haven't read through them yet. I know I flicked through them as a kid, but they fit perfectly here. I really like having them and they remind me of my grandfather. And then over on the last shelf, it's just other miscellaneous tall books. So I have some game guides. I have a t really tall book on UFOs. I have my like first aid training and my food safety training books, all that stuff. And I also have my high school yearbooks. Then on this side, I have the last shelf of my regular novels in alphabetical order. These right here are my plays. I don't know why, I just didn't really want to have them mixed in with my other novels and I do want to accumulate more plays in the future. Right now they are mostly Shakespeare as well as On Atadon Godot, which is my all-time favorite play. Right here, I have, they're not quite reference books, but they're not stories. I have my Uncle John's Bathroom readers here. I have a book of rock and roll quotes. I have 255 games to play. Books like that just get shoved here. Then a little further down, I have these books here. This is basically my reference shelf. They are mostly textbooks and other nonfiction. Um, this one is all about nationalism. This one is the Pokedex. I have multiple books on guinea pigs. This one is a little encyclopedia of dinosaurs, etc. And finally, down here are my wrestling books. These ones are predominantly wrestling autobiographies. I didn't want to put them in with my regular books because first of all, I love the way they look all together. Also, I didn't know how to put them alphabetical by author because a lot of these are ghostwritten as most you know celebrity autobiographies are. So do I put them by the actual author or do I put them by the wrestler? And if I do, do I put it by their real name, by their ring name? Like what, what do I do? So I have them just all here together. I also have a couple other wrestling books. I have uh, My Favorite Match, which is a collection of different wrestlers' favorite matches. I have the WWE Encyclopedia. I have the Field Guide to Professional Wrestling. A bunch of stuff. I'm a big wrestling fan. And now this is a side of the room that you've probably never seen before. That's because, first of all, these shelves are very, very empty. But I have my Reader's Digest collection here. I collected Reader's Digest when I was a kid and my rule right now is I only want to have one shelf of them, so I've been kind of rotating through my favorite ones, ones with, you know, sentimental dates and whatnot, but these are my Reader's Digests. 
here I have notebooks. These ones are notebooks that have been used. And then down here on the lower shelf, which I'll get to in a second, is unused notebook. Here is coloring books, activity books, that kind of thing. And then down here we have, like I said, unused notebooks or barely used notebooks. And then other paper and other things like that. And down here on the other side I have my comic books. They are mostly hot stuff, sad sack, and then just other one-offs I've accumulated. Right here is my bigger collections. I have the Untold Tales of Spider-Man collection, which has my all-time favorite comic book in it. Down here is magazines, almost all wrestling magazines. I have a couple. There's one from Guinea Pig magazine. There's one of the old Neopets magazines down there. And this pile right here is from Loot Crate, the little thing they put in every crate. And ignore that cord, that's how I charge my camera when I'm filming. And then up here I have the two manga that I own and a couple other graphic novels. I don't read very much manga, I read quite a bit of it back in middle school and high school, but all of my friends collected mangas, so I never bought my own, I just borrowed theirs every time they, you know, found a really good one they wanted me to read. So I only own these ones. And now, last but definitely not least as far as books go, I have this mini shelf here. It's actually an old headboard from my old, old bed. But I have my dictionaries and my becherelles here. If you don't know what a becherelle is, it's because I don't think there's an English equivalent, but it's basically a French verb book. It's kind of like a dictionary specifically for verbs. And then here I have what I consider my bookshelf. I have the two books that I wrote and I have my baby book. And this box here is just all my bookmarks because I love bookmarks. And this is where the magic happens. This is where I read. I have this super comfortable rocking armchair. I have a footstool. I have my table right here, a cat, my water. I always have a blanket nearby and on the back of the door, I actually have my fuzzy, fuzzy house coat. I have my lamp behind me, so I have the great light while I'm reading, and I like being able to face my bookshelves while I read because, I don't know, I just, even though I'm looking at the page, when I glance up, I like seeing a wall of books. It's just really inspiring and motivating to me. I also have a handful of trinkets just lying around, and then this is my favorite bookend. He is just a little skeletal rat. On this little shelf, I have a bear reading books. I have a snow globe with Captain Hook and Peter Pan, and there's a framed photo of Einstein because why not? I love having little knickknacks here and there, especially ones that feel library-ish or bookish, but I don't like too much clutter. That's why there's only a couple here. Then over here, I have my wall of maps. I love maps. I collect maps. They are one of my favorite things. I have maps all over the house. I have three right here. Just different world maps, different styles of maps, and then on the other wall I have some fantasy maps and fake maps. One of them was actually an advertisement for Loot Crate. One of them is from Zelda and one of them is just a photo I found that I really liked. Also my little side table has a map on it which I really like. I think it's super pretty. And on the rest of my walls I have this wooden map here. It's an old map of York County. I have a framed photo from a scene of Lord of the Rings, and I have this mad scientist type thing with the skull on it. And my final decoration is my pet dinosaur. Triceratopses are my favorite dinosaur, if you couldn't tell from my tattoo. This guy was supposedly an outdoor Halloween decoration, which basically means that it's just a permanent fixture in my house because I'm that kind of person. He also has a button. Definitely a great purchase. And now last and probably least, I have my closet in here, my filing cabinets. I have two filing cabinets that each have two drawers. They both lock because I'm that kind of person. Excuse the mess, I was kind of reorganizing some of it earlier, but hardcore Ravenclaw. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do a library tour for a while and I just
just wanted to, to add something a little fun to it. There's a good chance I'll do a proper like bookshelf tour eventually where I like show off the books themselves but I just wanted to show off this room because honestly I'm really proud of this room. I've mentioned it before but I live alone, I own my own home, I saved up my money my entire life, living on my own, working minimum wage, cutting back as much as I possibly could, walking to and from work sometimes an hour away. I worked my butt off to buy this house and one of my dreams for owning my own home is I wanted a spare room that I could use as a library. I painted this room by myself, I built all the bookshelves. You know, I really put so much blood, sweat and tears into my home and into specifically this room and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show it off. You know, I'm not over here bragging of like, oh look at me and look what I own. Like, no, I worked my butt off and the reason why I have so many books is because I've been buying books my whole life and I never throw them out. I'm not, you know, somebody who goes and buys multiple brand new books every single week and if you can do that and want to do that, that is awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's really exciting. But you'll notice that a lot of my books are really old, falling apart, hand-me-downs, because I wanted to be surrounded by books. And it's my home, it's my money, it's my hard work. So that's what I did. That's what I have now. And I don't know, I'm proud of that. So I just wanted to show that off. I have never been a wealthy person. I've worked minimum wage my entire life. I come from a lower end of middle class family, but I prioritized what I felt was really important and for me, this was important. I didn't mean for the end of this video to get so like finance heavy, I guess. If that happens to be something you're interested in, let me know and maybe I'll make a video kind of talking about how I saved up, how I bought my house, all that stuff, but I just wanted to celebrate my accomplishment by showing you guys this room that I made. This really is my happy place and when I see it, I feel calm and happy and relaxed because I'm in a room surrounded by books and I just feel happy and proud because I know how much work I put into all of this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button to let me know and feel free to subscribe to stay up to date. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, usually reading or writing related. And I also recently joined Twitter, so feel free to follow me at Tebuggy. I love making new friends and chatting with people and interacting with new people and all of that great, great stuff. So hope to see you guys next time and until then, have a great day. Bye.